All right, so we uh, defeated our rival, and uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, move on. Yeah, because uh, our uh, fiery bacon, Jim, uh, destroyed my rival, you know, uh, shamed him. Where to go, Jim? That big. Okay, so uh, now that that's over, uh, Bianca's just talking to us and uh, just holding us from becoming Pokemon Masters. Oh yeah, that's right. She wants to uh, take us to the Pokemon Center, and uh, she's gonna do that by dragging us, dragging our ass all the way over, and teaching us uh, what a Pokemon Center is. I like if you're a Pokemon fan, you do not need a tutorial for this because you already know what a Pokemon Center is. And when I played Pokemon Red and Blue. I did not have a freaking tutorial explaining what a Pokemon Center was. It was just go in there, talk to the lady, talk to the bitch, heal my Pokemon, and then she'd tell me that she wants to see my dead Pokemon again. That was it. I didn't need no tutorial. But uh, here we have this blonde, you know, this blonde bitch here telling me, I'm sorry guys, I'm cursing, but uh, I'm just so, so annoyed. She's telling me what a PC is for crying out loud. Come on, man. Okay, now she's dragging me over to the other side of the Pokemon Center, explaining what a uh, shop is. Like, I mean, the guy has caps and shirts. He knows what a shop is. You don't need to explain it to him. But the bright side is, at least she gave you Pokeballs. I mean, she gave you Pokeballs, right? She made your balls come out. You know, I don't know. She, she just gave you ball balls, you know? That, that's all I know. Bianca gave you balls. How's that? Now you can go catch the Pokemon with Bianca's balls. Which are now your balls. And uh, we're going to catch all sorts of Pokemon with the balls. Uh, what, what's next to do here? Well, now that we did that, we can uh, move on with our lives here. And she just took off, you know, just making us feel really weird and awkward. And oh my god, she's outside again. Oh, okay, so she's outside. And uh, now, if that wasn't long enough, she's bringing around uh, your mother, or the trainer's mother, if you like to go for that. Um, and the little little chick there, the little girl, I think it's a girl, and uh, you receive an item, which is the, the uh, X transceiver, I believe. Um, I'm not keeping too good with this update here, but, uh, oh yeah, you do get a pad right off the bat, so that's nice. You don't have to worry about searching for the pal pad because you do get your pal pad right away and your X transceiver, you know? So you can do the X rated stuff on it, X transceiver. And uh, this case thingy, which um, allows you to put your selected items in there, which is nice because now you don't have to search through your whole entire bag just to see what you have on select or, you know, just for select and remove it. But anyway, it gives you that option, which is nice. Um, Kaido is, uh, somewhere crying. They're talking about him. So, we're just gonna not feel regret for beating him and shaming him with, uh, Jim. We're just gonna keep talking, uh, to this blonde head right here. She's leaving. And, uh, if you think that's the last time we see her talking, no. <laughs> you have no idea. We'll be seeing her more in just a few minutes here, um, after we're done with, uh, this conversation. And I think I'm done. I just pushed it again. I think. Yep, there we go. Okay, we're free! We're free! Oh yeah, she gave you running shoes. I forgot to mention that. So if you guys uh, want to go ahead and start running, run for your lives! You can run! So uh, we battled our rival. We're going out. We're heading north. And uh, my advice to you guys when you play is always to talk to everybody in the game. But uh, you don't need to worry about that right now because I pretty much did all, all did all this on my guide, so I know uh, that you do not you do not need to talk to any of these people. Uh, what did this guy give me? Well, I'll tell you what he gave me actually. Um, the uh, the gate person gives you uh, oh crap I forgot what it was. Well, he gives you an, oh yeah he gives you a potion item. That's right. So uh, that's nice nice to know. But if you're playing the Japanese game, you know it, it's nice to know that you're going to be getting a potion. But that's about it. You really don't need to be in there. Don't talk to anybody in there because you're just going to waste your time. It's Japanese. And no! Oh my God, she's out there, being a stalker, creepy, just waiting for me to head over there. And and now she's going to drag me over to the grass. If that was not an annoying tutorial explanation about how to catch. Uh, Items in shops, healing your Pokemon, and and giving me uh, Pokeballs. 
Now she's gonna make me use my balls to catch Pokemon. Well, technically her own balls, but uh, you got that. So she's going to grass. She runs into a wild Pokemon. And uh, we run into a uh, Loinpur, I think it's called. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm not a fan of this Pokemon. Um, I am a fan of its evolved form, but not too much of its unevolved form. And Lillipop! She sends a Lillipop! And uh, she, uh, she's going to teach us how to catch Pokemon. So I, I guess that's okay if you're a noob and you haven't played a Pokemon game. But uh, if you're like me and you played Pokemon before, you don't need to know how to catch Pokemon. Uh, okay, that's fine. At least it's only a one-time thing. Uh, she's, t t she's showing me where to go and choose the Pokeballs. And now um, she's got 30 of them. 30 freaking balls. She throws them at her uh, new caught pussy cat. So she uses balls to catch a, uh, catch a pussy cat. Way to go, Bianca. Nice, nice, I see. I see what you did there. Congratulations! With your Pokeballs, Bianca, you caught a pussy cat! Isn't that amazing? And uh, she adds it to her collection. Man, she must be very curious. Ha! Um, yeah, so she taught me how to catch Pokemon using Pokeballs. And uh, now that we know, I mean, we didn't need to, but it's nice to know that she cares. And uh, she's being really, really annoying because she won't let me move on. Um, okay, finally, now we can move on with our lives again, and uh, let's let's have some fun here. We had choices. We can catch Pokemon, or we can actually um, just uh, battle and, you know, kill things. Okay, I didn't run to anything. Amazing. Wow, let's see if I run to anything in this one. And we're running, walking, whatever, and, uh, oh, there we go, I was about to say, wow, that was a long walk with nothing in there, let's see, uh, oh my god, we have a pussy, a pussy cat, we're gonna use our Pokeballs for it, and, uh, the reason why I want to use my, uh, Pokeballs with my gym here, is because, uh, I know that sounded wrong, Oh wait, that's right, we have to weaken it. Oh wait, look, we did learn something. I forgot Bianca taught us that we have to weaken the pussy cat, sorry. Uh, so uh, the loin purr is gonna die to a tackle. And uh, that's by Jim, the almighty tepig of fire, fiery bacon power here. And she scratches my pig. Ouch, not a very nice, nice, uh, whatever you th thing call it, um, whatever this Pokemon's name is. So, oh crap, I just killed it. Okay, so uh, I just made the uh, pussy cat faint with the tackle. I am so sorry. That was not supposed to happen. Hey, look, we leveled up. What do you know? Okay, so it wasn't so bad after all. That's nice. And uh, we learned uh, Ember. Nice. Nice. Okay, so uh, everything ended out better than expected. Um, yeah, we're in this route now. Uh, well, let's see. What else can we do here? Let's see. There's a, a potion somewhere here. Um, we're gonna go at, wait, is this a trainer? I forgot. Um, I'm sorry, I do not remember. Let's see. Oh, no, she's not a trainer. I forgot. Uh, she's just an annoying NPC that, uh, just tells you about the area. Oh, look, a second Pokemon. Okay, so, what is it now? It's a pack rat! Yes! My HM slave! Now, guys, this is a good advice for all of you out there. You want to catch one of these things. Now, the reason why you want to catch one of these things is because later on, you're going to realize how freaking valuable these pat rats really are. So, you want to maybe burn it. Burn the crap out of it, or use whatever the heck you got for a starter. Just don't kill it. Um, that was measly ember attack. Did barely anything. So, uh, we have to uh, weaken it one more time. It used to tackle on my Jimmy here. And uh, I don't think I'm that powerful with the gym, so we're going to just... Use tackle, hopefully it doesn't kill it. And it did not kill it, so this means it's caught, right? Well, no, we have to actually throw the Pokeball, guys. So I'm sounding like Bianca here. Uh, we have to throw the Pokeball now. Throw the goddamn Pokeball. We have 10 of them. So now that I caught my HM Slave, this thing's gonna be so handy for later because um, if, you're po if your Pokemon's about to die, you wanna send this thing out first. To, you know, so you can kind of sacrifice it and heal up your your bacon fiery tepig gym or uh, other like Pokemon you have, you know? 
Or better yet, use this as HM sled, teach a cut. You know, teach it all weird sorts of moves that you'll probably never even use it again and store it in a PC for the rest of its life. Sad thing is, this Pokemon does not know that. Uh, what should we name this thing? What should we name it? Should we give it a name? Should we give this thing a name? Oh my god, what should we name it, guys? Ah, uh, oh my god, I, I do not know what to name this thing. Uh, uh, what should I name? I know, we're just gonna name it Ralph. I don't know why, it just seems like a Ralph. We're gonna name it Ralph. Uh, I don't care how I spell it, just gonna name it Ralph. Uh, where's the, uh, damn it, where's the L? It's in here somewhere. Um, ah, there it is. Sorry, uh, kind of hesitating here, trying to figure out how to name it. We're just gonna name it like that. I don't care. Is this, is this a HM slave? It's not even gonna be useful later. And, I mean, later on uh, in the game, you just want it for HM slave, cutting, stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, don't talk to this guy. He's gonna just tell you how to jump over lead. You really don't need that. Okay, so we got our, uh, item here, which is gonna be a potion. Hooray! Potions! Awesome! And, uh, now that we got a potion, dang it, we ran to another Pokemon. Just talking nonsense here, so let's just move on. Uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see wild Pokemon battles, or just skip them, you know? Unless there's Pokemon you never ran into, so maybe that. Maybe I'll just stick to that. We'll see. Anyway, here's Alder! Alder! This is a spoiler, but if you have not played Black and White 1, I'm gonna spoil it for you right now. This is the original... Okay. <laughs> this is the champion of Black and White. This is the freaking champion. He's got his weird hairdo going on. And uh, he's about to circle me all creepy like stalkerish, like groping me and crap. I'm glad I chose the male. That makes it must, that must make him gay, wouldn't it? Anyway, I don't know. Uh, that's just a little creepy. He just circled my trainer, like checking him out. Imagine, imagine if this would have been the female, just like checking her out. Oh my god, this is like a big pedophile. That, but then, you know, he just like jumps out like a ninja out of the mountains. Gropes you, looks at you, like stalks you, and then he's like looking at nothingness, like saying, Oh my god, what did I just do? And he's like, Oh crap, you saw me, Sky. You saw me. Well, you know what? You didn't see anything. I'm running. See, he's taking off. Okay, that's not really what he said, but uh, we can pretend. This is all Japanese. So we're in the town now. You know, nothing important except for all you're shouting about. You could get a potion if you want. But for us, we're going to go ahead and do just that. We're going to go down here to this spot right here. This little house this little house right here. And this old bald man here is generous enough to give us a potion. You know, a love potion here because he loves us so much. Oh, wait. He didn't give me a potion. Where's my freaking potion? Oh, my God. Was it you? Oh, my God. Where is my potion? Where is my freaking potion? I could have sworn I got into this house. There was a potion here. Oh my god, what happened to the potion? Was it this house? I don't know. Let's find out. Um, well, there's another bald guy here, so maybe it's him. Let's see. Yeah, it was him. What do you know? Okay, so this bald guy gives me the love potion because the other guy just didn't love me enough. All right. Okay, it's not really a love potion. It's just a regular potion, guys, for all of you out there. Uh, you guys are so picky. No, I'm just playing. I love you all. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is creepiness. Okay, so let's move on. There, like I said, there's nothing important here. Just keep moving on, guys. Keep heading north. And we run into Alder. And the reason why I say keep moving north is because there really isn't anything else to do in that town, you know? They're just not going to find anything else around the area. So my advice is just keep moving. And, uh, and here is Alder. So we're just going to chat with him. And he's going to tell you a few things, you know. Something about uh, maybe being a hero, whatever, you know, helping others, taking care of Pokemon's kindness, blah, blah, blah. Route 20, um, telling me that uh, Pokemon's been kidnapped or something, or someone, some mysterious figure, and he's just going to be a lazy bastard and not go help that one poor Pokemon that got dragged off. So, uh, oh wait, maybe it wasn't dragged off, that's just a car that was dragged, uh, car thingies, anyways. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep moving, moving, and moving, and this is Route 20, guys. Um, we're now at Route 20. Here you can battle a few trainers. Uh, you guys also let me know. Do you want to see the Pokemon trainer battles? Or do you want to see the important trainer battles? You tell me. Let me know. I'm, I'm new at this. So if you guys think I should do something or not, tell me. Give me input. Give me feedback. I'll listen. I'll do it for next next video. So uh, for now, I'm just going to battle every single one of them. And you guys let me know if I should record every single trainer. Okay? So we're going to do this. Our first battle with the trainer. 
And he turns out to be a youngster with top percentage. Pat Rouch or Lilliput, I don't remember, but uh, he's got one. And what I love about Black and White, too, is that they have animated stripes. Look at that. Look at that. He's just showing off. Flexing his little arms and throws out his top percentage. Pat Rat! You know, Pat Rat or Pat Rat, whatever. I sent out my gym. The gym's gonna just destroy the, that Pat Rat, you know, with a nice little tackle. Because uh, I just want to use tackle because uh, Ember is a special move and uh, Tepig's more geared towards physical. Which that means, you know, that my tackles can be stronger than my Ember. Which is sad, really, because he's a fiery bacon. So, uh, Jim just got his uh, defense lowered because uh, that Pat Rat used Leer. Now, a lot of people think that, you know, when you start off the game, some of these moves aren't very great, which I do agree they are in the beginning. But, I mean, sometimes they do help. They do help because if you use them at the right moment, you could use them, like, to, to prevent a gym leader from using potions and stuff. Just Leer, 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 and then kill it, you know? Uh, yeah, so I wouldn't recommend just dissing Leer right off the bat. They, they are some pretty good moves, you know, for beginning, you know? Sometimes they help. And you don't have to use as much potions or something, you know, with the fence curl and stuff like that. So we beat our trainer, youngster Joe, with his top percentage, Pat Rat. Uh, we're gonna move on and uh, crossing this bridge. Yep, and moving, moving, moving. There's another trainer right here. We're gonna battle her. And uh, she's going to walk up to me and flirt with me. Woo! She's gonna tell me how awesome my, uh, my, my bacon is. She wants to battle my bacon. And I'll bow her, oh yeah. Oh, look at that, mmm. Look at that, she jumped, a little hop there. Ooh, she's so kinky. Look at that. I'm like kink, boing, boing, boing. Okay, I'm just playing. I'm so sorry, guys. I just figured I'd just be all crazy because it really is all Japanese and I'm not using the English patch. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just playing the game how it is because I figure, you know, I don't want to spoil the entire game for myself when Black and White 2 come out in US, which I am buying, by the way. You guys should be ashamed if you don't get it. This game is pretty fun. And uh, she sends out her pussy against my bacon. Her pussycat. Woo! I don't know what you were thinking, you dirty, dirty-minded viewers, you. I was not thinking about that. Jeez, man, you guys are such perverts. Okay, so uh, my bacon uses another tackle on her pussy cat. Yeah, and uh, uh, doesn't take it out, barely. Uh, oh, wait, it does take it out. Oh, no, it doesn't. She just moaned. She moaned. Oh, my God. And, and it made my... my uh, my attack go down. Oh wait, is that a bad thing? Uh, maybe it just means that you know um, my attack on my bacon is lowered, so that means I'm not as strong. Ooh, that's not good. At least she, uh, she banned it. Yeah, and we're level eight, guys. Woohoo! Level eight, level eight. And we defeated uh, this uh, kinky trainer, and she's like, "Yay, I lost!" With her arms all up in arms, you know, like just saying, "Oh," or maybe he's like. Oh my god, I can't believe you're so amazing. So, uh, yeah, she's defeated. We're gonna keep moving here. We see an item right here that you can pick up. This item right here, if I can remember what it was. Um, 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 this is Route 20. So, we're gonna pick it up. And uh, it's gonna tell me what it was. Uh, this is actually uh, three trainers to battle. Uh, what was it? Well, I don't remember. I think it's like an antidote or something. I don't remember. But uh, it should it should be one of those things, anyways. Oh yeah, um, on this route, I think like no, I might be confused. Um, this is route 19, isn't it? Um, I'm lost. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Anyway, there's another trainer here, so let's just go ahead and battle him too. If you think I should skip these battles, tell me because uh, that's what my tepig is. Okay, so now that we're here, this area right here, ignore this hiker here because he's not going to let you pass if you try going here he's just going to block your path he, he's just being a dick you know he's being a, a cock blocker is what he is he's like you can't pass so I'm pushing you back or whatever you know that road is dangerous or whatever so ignore him he's just being a snorlax go over here instead and you'll find a hidden item now on this hidden item right here I believe it's a pokeball a great ball I don't remember um, what was it uh, if I can find what it was, a uh, hidden item, a hiker, what was it, what was it? Uh, oh yeah, hidden Pokeball, it's, uh, it's a hidden Pokeball, guys. So, now you know if you want to get a free Pokeball, talk to that rock. It, 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 somehow it's hiding a Pokemon right now. 
And uh, I, I don't know how it got there, you know, it's just it's just like that. Speaking of things, this right here, you cannot reach it, but I, I found a way how to do it. You just have to change your calendar, go to autumn, and it will be filled with leaves and you can get that. That right there, um, it's a Pokeball and an Antidote, I believe. Well, one of these is an Antidote. And there's another path right here. You can do that same thing right here. During autumn, it'll be filled with leaves. So you can walk into that area and get an Antidote or a Pokeball. I don't remember which one, but it's in there. So we keep walking in this direction, and now uh, we make it into the farm area. The farm area um, is pretty fun. I like it. You know, hey, that kind of rhymes. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, now that we're here... We can run to wild Pokemon this area. We can run to Mary, Azuril, Psyduck, Riolu, um, a, a whole bunch of things, you know, just make your team here, you know, little pups, crap, you know, it had to be a freaking little pup. Um, yeah, also, do you guys want to see me catch a Pokemon? You probably do, I I'm assuming yes, because you want to see, like, legendaries and stuff like that. So we caught our uh, little pup here, level 7, which is not bad, pretty high level, which is good, because this means it's going to help. And I'm going to go ahead and name them something. What should we name it? What should we name it? You guys leave comments. And uh, for the next couple of Pokemon I run into, if I remember them, I'll name them after that. So, uh, let's name it, uh, Sparky. No, 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 not Sparky. Let's, uh, something doggy-like. Uh, Fido! Yeah, let's name him Fido. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fun. We're going to name him Fido. That's going to be, or we could name it Elastic, but Fido is such a short name, it's simple and sweet. So, uh, yeah, we caught Fido here. Um, now, if you guys want to name him, please leave a comment letting me know what names I should name whenever I run to a certain Pokemon. Or just the next Pokemon, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, here, in this section right here, you're going to run to your rival. So, my advice is, before you actually go and battle your rival... Save your freaking game, okay guys? Save it. You don't want to go ahead and battle and lose because you're going to have to be going all the way back to the uh, Pokemon Center. So uh, I recommend using your potion here, uh, if I can find it. Sorry, I skipped it. Talking, scrolling, not, not a very good combination. Uh, wrong button here, guys. Sorry. Okay, potion. So we have two left. We're going to use it. Oh, wait. I'm actually pretty decent on HP. Oh, screw it. We're going to do it. We're not being stingy here. We're just going to heal up. And, uh, like I said, save your freaking games in case you lose for whatever reason. And, uh, I'm going to do that. So, you guys just, uh, go ahead and do that. If you're playing together with me, you're going to you're gonna thank me because, I mean, if you're rushing through it like I am kind of right now, I'm not really battling every single wild Pokemon. Because I, I don't want to bore you guys battling and grinding, you know? But I, I think I'm going to skip some of the wild Pokemon encounters. Just to, uh, video-wise, video-wise. So, I grind and just show you, you know, that, uh, the, the main stuff, the good stuff. Like this right here. So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get down to this. Here we go now. Rival battle. Woo! Rival! He's, like, all pumped up. He's like, I'm gonna kick your ass this time. It's payback, bitch. And, uh, Kaido wants to battle. Uh, by the way, his real name is actually Hugh. But, uh, for the sake of this video, we're calling him Kaido. Or Kaido, whatever. He's got one Pokemon, guys, so uh, this should be easy. This, is, this should be a pretty easy win, you know? He's got Mijumaru, a.k.a. Ashawat, or Revolver Ashawat with that shell. And uh, I'm level... I'm, what level am I? I'm level 8, he's level 8. Not bad, so we're pretty even. Um, my advice is do not use Ember. Of course, you probably already know you shouldn't use Fire Move on a Water Pokemon. So, uh, yeah, don't do that. And he uses tackle, and uh, we're both just tackling each other. He's telling me something in his own language, like being a, a, a you know, being a bitch, just complaining, ranting. Hey, you're kicking my Pokemon. That's not fair. You know, and uh, I'm sorry. That's how we roll. You know, Jim and I are, aren't gonna just sit around and uh, let you win here. We're gonna kick ass, take names. You know, and uh, we just took down this Mijumaru. Yeah, we beat Miji. Midgey, get down! Yeah, we beat Midgey here. We beat Midgey here. We leveled up. Level 9. Okay, so I just learned a new move, which I believe this is Defense Curl. I never used Embora. I never really wanted to use Tepig before, but uh, this is a new experience for me, and I wanted to use a Pokemon I never used before, so I chose Tepig for this.